Good morning, this is Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes. Making another video log of a really cool project we have going on here in Denver uh, for my fellow construction junkies. I want to see what's going on. Anyway, what I talk about a lot with my clients is taking what the lot gives you or working with, with the contours of the lot. This particular building lot, it's more level left to right and it slopes front to back. Okay, it's got a nice view of the lake over there. Anyhow, what we don't want to do with a lot like this is get a snub nose or a snout garage. Because if the garage comes out here, it ends up, the, ha the house gets really deep. And then it fights against the contours of your lot. So you have to have a really high basement or bring a lot of dirt in to fill in to compensate for that. And you end up spending a lot of money that you don't get any more enjoyment out of. So what we did with this particular lot is we have a garage up here on the high side and then we kind of designed the house to go left to right and not too far back so that it works with the house works with the uh, the contours of it anyway this uh, we have it prepped for our footing here so we see we see you have a little steel rebar that's going to tie into a steel grid that goes in the, uh, in the in the concrete basement wall anyway we did a little retaining wall here so that's going to hold this dirt back so that we have a nice transition when we come around to the back. Anyway, this is going to be the walkout basement. We may have room for a swimming pool back here. And we wanted to incorporate all that into the design of the house. So anyway, as you can see, this is going to be the walkout basement. That's where the slab is going to come out. That's the footing where the wall is going to sit. We have a reinforced steel rebar there. And then we have forms for our sidewalls and there's our vertical footing over there anyway it's going to be a really cool project probably been making some follow-up videos thank you for watching and if you have any questions call me at the number below